and hold his hand. <laughs> He's just here to get his back checked because he injured it while working out and it's been hurting for how long? For a year? Oh, for four months. Spark up. Spark up. <laughs> Are you gonna walk Sparko? Uh oh. Okay, let's go. You get him. You got him. Let's go. Sparkle, follow Ava. Go. Ava, pull him outside. Come on, let's go. Sparkle, keep it moving. <laughs> Good job, Ava. Let's go. <laughs> playing his Grand Theft Auto. Here's Mr. Sparko. He's following me around because he thinks I'm going to give him some food. But I'm not. Because <laughs> I already fed you. Um, this is what we're having tonight. Um, I can't explain what it is. It's more of a Vietnamese dish. I marinate it with garlic powder, onion, fresh garlic, soy sauce, fish sauce, um, and honey. And some ground black pepper and all that good stuff. And red crushed peppers. And then I throw it all in here. And then I add a bit of coconut soda. Let me just show you guys this good stuff here. It's pretty Asian. Except we're having it with... I'm going to saute some broccoli in the sauce when I take the chicken out. Um, and then we're having it with some quinoa, which I made yesterday. I already prepared this yesterday. Let me turn this off. Um... This I made with chicken broth, and it's our first time trying it, and we actually really like it. Alex actually prefers this over brown rice, so I'm going to try making this a little more often. I only got a small bag. Uh, whatever I found at the Asian grocery market, it was just in the small bag by, gosh, I don't remember what that brand. Oh, Phoebe. The Phoebe brand. Um, so I only have a little bit left. I made a lot, actually. This is quite a bit of a tub. So I'm just heating it up quickly in the microwave. Um, let me see. So this one is done. This is for Alex. And this one's for me. Put in the microwave for a minute. If you guys have any tips and tricks to making quinoa, let me know. Um, if you guys don't know what quinoa is, they're basically seeds. It tastes, it's supposed to taste a lot like brown rice. Um, I mean, not to replace it. Well, for me, it is replacing it. It's high in fibers and protein, so it is really good for you. A lot of clean eating people eat quinoa, but I'm just trying it out, so I give them a whole lot. So this chicken's about done. And I'm going to put it in this deep dish here. So that I can put all the sauce in there. But look at that caramelized sauce. Yum. And then, so I'm going to take them all out. I'm going to take one out and put it onto his plate. It's going to be a one humongo one. This one. Hey, y'all. Damn, look at that. It looks like a turkey leg. Humongo. And then we'll grab one for myself. Hopefully they're all nice and cooked. Well, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and take them off the heat and put them in this bowl right here. Oh gosh, I don't know they're going to fit because they're freaking humongo. Here's the final product. Some caramelized chicken, quinoa, and broccoli. Yum! I can't wait to dig in with my date. Oh, look at this candy corn that I made with my little niece and nephew. 
thought it was cute and festive. Candy corn. Someone stuck it in there, so I'm gonna just leave it like so. We still got our penguins. This is Ava's sippy cup. She comes out. She comes over my house to hang sometimes. And this guy is still playing some Grand Theft Auto with his friends. So I guess dinner will be by myself. And Sparkle, of course. Sparkle. He likes to lay at our feet when we eat. Good morning. My hair is still wet. Hey, Sparkle. Look at him. Sparkle, get down. Sparkle. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Um, it's such a gloomy, gloomy day. It is only 8.30 in the morning, but I got a phone call from work that I need to come in and do some paperwork and such. So, oh, and you guys didn't know I'm starting. Well, you guys didn't know because I didn't really tell anyone. But um, I'm supposed to be starting a job at a hospital. Of course, I'm not going to be aware, but um, I'm so excited. So that's what I'm doing. I have to go in and do some paperwork for them. I'm just heating up some um, some frozen food because I was just craving some Swedish meatballs for some reason. But yeah, I like just went to work literally like two minutes ago, um, and it's just me and Sparko here. Look at him; he looks so. You heard his name, Sparko Do. But yeah, it's been so freakishly gloomy lately. It's been raining and it's supposed to rain all week long, and then I have another appointment today that I have to attend as well so it's that and there's something else I need to do oh my god what was it I don't remember how we go to the bank like little stuff like that and then Hopefully meet it back here um, at um, 11.30. That's when I like to come back for lunch. And that's when we have lunch together. And, um, our anniversary is coming up on October 18th. We will be five years old. And, um, yeah, so we've been together. We're, we've been together for almost five years. Um, it will be our five-year anniversary on the 18th, which is next Friday. He's already taken off Friday and Saturday, so we're not sure what we're doing. I really want to go somewhere, like, out of town. Um, preferably, preferably Pittsburgh, because that's where my best friend is. And I've never been to Pittsburgh, and there's a lot. I'm sure there's a lot to see there. Do you want to get back on this side now, huh? Huh? What you doing? We had to put this gate up for when um, we leave. We leave him in the kitchen. Um, otherwise, he will explore and chew on things and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, our anniversary is coming up. I actually already got him a gift. I actually got him a coach wallet. I think he took it with him today, so I can't even show you. I'll show you guys later. Um, but... It's just a card holder that he really needed because he was using his old ugly wallet that he hates. But he keeps losing his wallet, so that's what happens. Um, but yeah, so I actually originally got him this other black one with a bunch of C's on it. He doesn't like that. He likes it to be very subtle, um, not too flashy or whatnot. So we ex we went yesterday. We went back yesterday to exchange it, and he picked. He actually got to pick it out. So that was good. What do you want, Mr. Sparkle? Hmm. But um, yeah, I'm about to eat some breakfast and then head out to my doctor appointments and such. I haven't been playing. I don't know why. It was just I woke up and I was like, I want some of this. <laughs> some ghetto frozen dinner. I'm having for breakfast. Plus, I didn't have time to make a real breakfast anyway. I can't even open this right now. Sparko is not for you. Not for you, buddy. Go away. Go away. Go away. Going on a morning walk, and it's boring. Steam. <laughs> yeah, it's so gloomy out. I have a pimple. Ooh, neat. Our second walk of the day. It's still raining, 
but it's okay because I got my rain boots on. Ew, there's like worms swimming in this puddle. Um, I typically take them on about, I want to say estimating like four or five walks a day because he's still a puppy and we want to make sure that he really does not poop or pee in the house, that he knows that he's only supposed to go outside. But he is still a puppy, so his bladder is really small. So I do want him to relieve himself as much as possible. But yeah. I don't know if I explained his um, head collar yet, but it's just a collar for walking. Um, it's so that when I tug, I don't have to tug too hard, and literally he'll just follow exactly where I'll go. Um, which is good because he's usually very distracted since um, he's still a puppy and he's kind of fenced in the backyard before we got him, so he hasn't seen much. So he's just so very distracted by everything. And this helps. So it's not a muzzle. He doesn't bite or he doesn't bark either. It's just for walking. But I think we're done here. Let's go back inside. And then I have my other doctor's appointment to go to. Yeah. That's why I love rain boots. You can walk in the mud and not care. Come on, Sparko. Come on. On our third walk of the day, right after his dinner. It's about like five o'clock right now. Um, it's still pouring out rain. So, we're getting whips, but it's okay, at least he gets some exercise. It's fine. It's fine. We had to take um, Alex's cousin to his blue shoe, so we just stopped by. Oh, shoot. fries and we've been eating it and it looks like we haven't even touched it. <laughs> this sauce is banging. I'm not sure what it is. Like a spicy mayo. Totally forgot to vlog but we've been killing it. All the trash is in there. <laughs> but they give you a little salad. I was just too excited for the chicken though. And they give you like this horse, or I don't know if it's horseradish. No, it's just radish. So good though. But man, this is soy garlic. Just mild. This one's a spicy one. It is freaking spicy. Only Alex can eat that because okay, I ate one and I'm dying. It killed my taste buds. So now I'm trying to eat one more soy garlic just in case. But we're killing it. So we're paying, and if you check in to Facebook, you can get a dollar off. So Alice and I both did it, so we got $2 off. This is the wallet that I got for our anniversary. It's too dark to look at right now. He Instagrammed a picture of it, though. It looks, uh, maybe I can do it like this. It's like black and brown leather. He picked it out, so. He likes it. He likes subtle looking things. And um, he only carries parts, so all well, he needs. done <laughs> home and guess what he's doing there's no surprise <sighs> we walked Sparko in the rain poor thing <laughs> what Are you in your underwear is that why he's but anyway, my phone is dying, so I have to carry my laptop around to um, charge and film at the same time. <laughs> what do you mean? You're going to ruin your laptop like that. How? Your hard drive. 
What do you mean? By carrying it around? Yes, with it on. What? It's on, then. I don't understand. Just put it down. You don't have to understand. You're so rude. But anyways, um... So, I was coming home and realized that I have two big old trays of eggs that I got from Costco. So, I was going to make the Korean steamed egg. I'll have this pot boiling. Oh, well, actually, not boiling, but I'm going to bring it to a boil. And um, I have four eggs in a bowl. And we're going to add three-fourths cup of water crust. And add a pinch of salt. Probably should have whisked the eggs before I did this, but oh well. So I'm gonna add a bit of salt. Um, I'm not gonna do too much because last time it was like way too salty and it was so hard to eat. Um, so I'd rather have less than more because then we can always just add it to later. But I'm going to whisk it with chopsticks, that way there's no air bubbles and such. And then we're going to steam this whole bowl. We're going to put this whole bowl right into the pot and it's going to steam for about 10 minutes. I'm just getting this recipe right off a website, so nothing special. This is what we're avoiding here, these bubbles. So I want it smooth. My steam egg is steaming. It's going to steam in there for about 15 minutes. It has 8 minutes to go. I set a timer for everything because it's convenient. And I'm going to add these on top. Just imitation crab stick. And then I heat up some extra to eat some. And I'm going to be watching Arrow. So here is the finished product. It looks funky. But it's yummy. I know because I already took a bite. He. Alex, go to bed. No. <laughs> um, so I made my steamed egg. I didn't even eat it. I just wrapped it up and put it away because I was just too full and tired. Sparko. Sparko, hi. Say good night, everybody. Say good night. We're going to go to bed. We're going to go to bed and go on our money walks tomorrow again, aren't we? <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> good night, pretty boy. He's so soft and fluffy. He actually doesn't sleep with us. Um, he sleeps in the kitchen. He actually likes sleeping in the kitchen because the tile, it's cold, nice and cold. So that's why... Um, so we just leave him in there. We do have to block him off just in case um, he wanders around. I'm just scared he's going to try and pee or poop somewhere. Uh, he's still trying to get used to that. He's laying down right here. But occasionally I let him in here to lay. But he does get curious. He does grab things sometimes. So that's why I don't let him in here too much. Plus this room is just real messy. and There's just too much stuff around anyway for him to grab. What you looking at, Sparko? Hmm? Sometimes he grabs stuff from under the bed, too. <laughs> so, always gotta keep an eye on him. But yeah, I'm about to go and wash my face and go to bed. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye.